Hi there, uh, Marcus here from 4Paws. Quick video to show you what, how to repair your 4Paws in the event that something doesn't work. So I'm logged into a customer. Customer has a problem. The 4Paws touch program doesn't open. Just to prove the point quickly, I'm going to go into Task Manager. And you can see in the background, uh, four pass, uh, or, or sorry, all the programs running. Now, interesting enough, you open up four pass touch here. You can see it starts up in the uh, in the task manager. Uh, memory usage is a little bit. The pro, uh, sorry, the main controller opens up, and then all of a sudden, four pass touch just disappears. Uh, we are looking into the problem, but for now, just to solve the issue, let me show you quickly how to do a repair if something like this does happen. All right, so the first point is that, first of all, close everything about four pause that's open. As you can see, the domain controller is open, so I'm just going to close that quickly. It's registered, so it's showing the company name and everything is fine. Critical point, obviously, do a backup first. Make sure, uh, make sure that you've got a backup to recover from. Now, as you can see, typical situation that we've had many many times before and happens on a daily basis customers register and as you can see um, lots and lots of uninstalls from the 14th or the 16th now again it might be because of the fact that the 4 post touch program doesn't open it could be many other reasons but uninstalling reinstalling never a solution all right it creates all sorts of dramas all right so this is a free support session um, Hopefully we will be able to not have these sessions uh, if people can follow the video. All right, so let's give it a bash. All right, so first of all, what I'm going to do is just do a backup. So I'm going to go into the 4Pos folder, run the 4Pos backup program, give it time to finish. All right, and the backup is saved successfully, as you can see uh, on the system. All right, now... We will need to get into the control panel. Now, Windows 10 is not as easy. Uh, the way I do it is simply go into Explorer, like where I am, and type in control in the little taskbar or address bar over there, and then go to Programs and Features to go and get all your programs that's up and running. Four pauses over there, and as you can see, it was installed uh, literally a day ago. All right, so all I'm going to do is click on Four Pause, click on Repair, sit back and relax as you can see even if uh, you needed to recreate the database and so on it will do all of that for you all right so it's all finished this part of it all right now obviously if i'm going to open up the back office now it's going to give me all sorts of dramas about the wrong version and things like that now as you can see the customer has already downloaded the, the upgrade so i go to the upgrade folder and you see it's done on the 16th which is also yesterday and simply run it so to make sure that the latest versions are on because when i do a repair it actually resets everything about four pause back as if it never happened um, in other words it resets the database it resets the programs it resets the exe files everything that's involved in four pause okay let the upgrade run through all right, so I'm simply going to go to the 4Pos folder again um, and go and look for my little restore program, which is over there. All right, it's telling me that 4Pos Touch is still running, but now 4Pos Touch is running in the background, as you can see, and I need to get rid of it. Okay, so I'm just going to go into Task Manager. 4Pos Touch is now sitting there waiting to do the update, which it can't do. Uh, chicken and egg situation all right and it's out so now at least i can do my restore okay all right let's start that it uses the master password which everybody uh, gets a problem with it's explained in the manual but it's basically day day hash hash month month so today is the 17th hash hash which is shift and three shift and three by the way uh, zero eight press enter and it will ask you where the backup is. Now, in this case, my backup is obviously in the 4Pos folder by default. Just make sure that you restore the latest file. Don't go and restore something that might be three months old and then say, well, now there's a problem. Uh, and as you can see, the restore is relatively fast and quick. Now, my back office has been restored or my database has been restored. I'll be able to open up the back office without a problem. And because I'm sitting on the uh, licensed version, obviously the domain controller will open. 
sometimes you'll also get this internet connection is not stable you like to try again just say no for now doesn't matter okay all right and now we can go and open up four pass touch uh, and the controller and everything else and here my touch is giving me that same message again in the background so let's just go and do that and it's about the uh, translation tables bear in mind that four passes was developed to run multiple languages so obviously in Dubai and in Qatar and everywhere else we're running on Arabic and we also have some French customers and Portuguese and Mozambique and other countries in Africa so that's what the translation table is about uh, so let's see if the domain controller has gone through and continue with that all right, so my controller is sitting now on instruction number 112, as you can see over there. And my update for post touch has been updated, and now we can open it up. All right, and we click on four pause, and four pause touch is now most likely up and running. Okay, all right, so sorry, I didn't finish up in the back office there. Let me just update that as again one more time. And there's the four pass touch up and running and I can go into care sale and uh, start working on the four pass touch. Um, all right. And that's how to repair a four pass system. Enjoy.